In the late 70s, Dan Bricklin was a student at Harvard Business School sitting bored out of his mind in his accounting class. As he was daydreaming, he was watching his professor basically do basic arithmetic on the blackboard. He imagined a blackboard where the professor could essentially erase one number in one cell and everything down the line would also change. Inspired from this daydream, Bricklin actually began to build this into reality. He built out a computer program called VisiCalc. VisiCalc had the ability to complete calculations in seconds seconds that used to take days, and is now the original version of what we know as Excel. When the software hit the market, it became a game changer for accountants. Accountants who had previously spent hours erasing and recalculating entire columns on paper were amazed by the efficiency of the new tool. VisiCalc enabled them to make changes quickly and easily, saving countless hours of work. Now, you might think that this technology would have spelled doom for accountants, but as we know, there are plenty of accountants out there today. And the opposite actually happened. The number of accountants increased by two or three X since the 70s. So what actually happened? What we realized was that people actually started asking more from their accountants. With the help of spreadsheets, they can now answer a what if type question. Like, what if I hired more employees? What would that turn the revenue numbers? Or what if I charged a little bit less for my product? Accountants became more valuable because they stopped thinking about just adding up numbers and started creatively thinking about businesses. Now, I think you know where I'm going with the story, right? My name is Data Science Jay. And I don't really believe that AI is going to automate out data scientists because I believe there's going to be a similar trajectory with what happened in the past with accounting and spreadsheet software with what's happening with data science now. I have seen tons of videos out there about how AI is going to replace data science. And I don't actually believe that to be true because of what is underlying the data science job. To me, like the story with Excel, AI allows data science to do actually more work and provide more value. And I think it provides a lot of value for everyone as a whole as well. The one data science extinction argument that I hear a ton about now is that if AI allows a data scientist to do 10x more work, then why would we continue to hire more data scientists at a company where if one data scientist can do the job of two or three others, we would never have to hire those two or three other data science jobs. And that's true if your underlying assumption that work and value is finite, if we're in a zero sum game. But as we know from business and what, from what I know from business as well, is the fact that the more efficiency that we bring out of our workers and more productivity creates more wealth in the overall landscape. And we saw this, for example, with accounting software. So there used to be something called bookkeeper clerks. And we see this with the example of what happened with accounting software in Excel. For example, back in the 70s, before Excel, there used to be bookkeeper clerks. And bookkeeper clerks were basically required to do the job of what Excel does today. They would essentially erase and fill in the numbers and compute the calculations down the line in your Excel spreadsheet. And nowadays we don't have bookkeeper clerks anymore, but we do have two to three X more accountants as we could see. To me, this is an exact similarity with between ChatGPT's new data analysis tool, right? Nowadays, you can just upload a data set if you have access to this plugin and analyze the data by answering it questions. And again, at the same time, this is extremely efficient and we could see this progression into doing a lot more advanced stuff. But to me, what this does is automate the SQL monkey tasks of data scientists the stuff that none of us really enjoy doing. But the thing that we know is that data scientists aren't just SQL monkeys. Yes, sometimes we are. And yes, there are a lot of jobs out there where essentially we are just doing SQL monkey work or just writing queries or formatting oddly formatted data for most of our jobs. But as that those tasks get automated away, it allows us to do the more creative work that is still required that AI can't do for now. But that's the resolution that we have to understand. We have to understand that data scientists aren't just number crunchers. We play a valuable role in converting data into business insights. To achieve this, we still have to have the judgment to actually analyze, format, and clean what kinds of data that's out there. We have to connect different pieces of information from different sources, along with stuff that we know and contextual knowledge in our head, as well as other people's minds inside of a general company to make decisions. And while we can envision a future where we can upload a data set and ask it questions and get answers immediately, we still have to know what questions to actually ask and understand why certain answers might be incorrect. Moreover, as data scientists, we actually have to negotiate and work with different team members. We have to be able to look the data and be able to figure out a way to tell a story that will convince other people to join our side and to actually apply the insights that we know. So to me, the future is not going to be reviewing SQL PRs by AI robots and doing so at a fast enough rate for accuracy and operational efficiency. It's going to be figuring out which problems that we have to solve and what kind of manpower we need to solve it. The tasks that demand human cognition, communication, negotiation, and collaboration skills AI has yet to replicate. 
So while AI can streamline some aspects of data science, the need for human expertise and answering the right questions, interpreting results, and collaborating with others to bring upon change is still essential. In my mind, if data scientists, a job where you generally make in the top 10% of all jobs and salary with such high demand. In my opinion, if a data scientist can't get a job, then I don't think anyone else can. And so if we get to a point where data scientists really are being automated away, I believe that we're gonna be living in a post-scarcity utopia where no one will really need to do any sort of job. And at that point, it doesn't really matter if data scientists are then automated because there won't be any other jobs to do that. So think about it, right? Data scientists are in the top 10% of income, salary, and kind of required education. So if a data scientist can't get a job or a software engineer can't get a job, then how is anyone else really supposed to get a job unless of the limitations of the physical world and constraints, right? But as long as scarcity exists, the economy will compete for talent the need for talent, the competition for success, and all of this will continue to exist. We will also want jobs. We will also want to build businesses and the relentless human drive to achieve feats will still exist. Although AI will dramatically change the data science job and the engineering jobs for years to come, it's crucial for us to remain adaptable in these situations and embrace the opportunities that actually arise from these advancements versus the doom and gloom that people expect from the automation that is here to come. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Goodbye.